All right, are you ready for the money shot? <laughs> ah. Hey guys, this is Sarah and I'm a food editor here at the Feed Feed and today I'm gonna show you how to make a salted chocolate tart with a matzah hazelnut crust. First things first, we're gonna make our matzah hazelnut crust. I've got this gluten-free matzah. I would highly recommend going for the gluten-free even if you're not gluten-free because I find it to be much tastier than the regular matzah. I'm gonna add in toasted hazelnuts, a little bit of sugar, and some salt. Jake is also a nice Jewish boy. I'm a nice Jewish girl. We're just talking about some matzah. This tart <laughs> is too good to pass over. <laughs> Hey! So, like I said, I'm going to process this now, okay? You bet your bottom dollar it smells good, Haley! Were you expecting it to look bad? Gotta get it nice and fine. Cubey dooby dooby! So now I'm gonna add these cubes of butter butter butter, and then I'm gonna pulse it just until it's combined. We're going for a mixture that resembles wet sand. Who's ready for summer? Woo! Ooh, look at that. See? Wet sand. That's a day at the beach right there, my friends. It's gonna look like a lot of crust, but once it's pressed down, you'll see that it's, it's the perfect amount. You have to trust the artist at work here, okay? Okay, now I'm going to put this guy on a sheet tray and par-bake the crust in the oven for about 25 minutes until it's nice and golden brown. Rolling. Now we're gonna make the filling. Uh, it's a salted chocolate filling. We're basically just gonna melt some chocolate with some cream, add eggs, honey, vanilla, salt, very simple. I've got some chocolate. <laughs> chocolate. I'm gonna add the cream now. You can use chips here, chunks, bars, doesn't really matter. It's all getting melted down anyway. This is a choose your own adventure tart. If you wanna go for a gooier center, you might wanna use a bar, but if you're going for a more, you know, like solid cut there, then you can use a chip. Can you get a voiceover from me saying yas and then just like drop it in random places in the video? <laughs> and now we're gonna make the matzo crust, yas! <laughs> the theme of my bat mitzvah was be spontaneous because my last name is Tain. It was a big hit. <laughs> there were sweatshirts. <laughs> and the hype dancers at my bat mitzvah are literally still to this day my idols. They were so good and I think about them often. Mm, so okay. Swish, swish, fish. I'm gonna add some honey. We're gonna add one egg that I've whisked, some vanilla, a little pinch of salt. And we're just gonna whisk this all up. You'll see I've switched to a whisk so that we get that nice silky texture. And we're still on very low heat. We're not making scrambled eggs here, people. But if you wanna learn how to make <laughs> scrambled eggs, do I have a video for you. <laughs> Woo! Every time you do that, you like destroy her ear. Haley wakes up in the middle of the night. Who's ready for summer? <laughs> All right, are you ready for the money shot? Ooh. Ah. I'm just gonna smooth it out with the spoon, give it a little swoosh action. This feels really nice and it's very satisfying to me. Thank you so much, Haley. <laughs> and then a little like, boop. All right, cool, let's send her back in the oven, shall we? Alrighty, my tart is out of the oven, and now I'm just going to hit it with some flaky salt. How gorgeous is she? This is a Passover dessert that I can definitely get behind. Happy Passover! You should definitely make this tart for your fam or your friends or whoever is coming over for the Seder. Um, if you do, make sure to tag Feed Feed, tag me. I want to see what you guys are making, and we'll see you next time.